Brian. Brian. Briefs. <laughs> Sound like you just said beefs. Brian. Did you say beef or brief? Brief. Hey everyone, it's Brian Simon. Thanks for tuning in again to Brian's Briefs. Babe. Babe. What? Can you tell Avery to come downstairs? All right, so we're going to get Avery on here. We're going to do a little question and answer, and hopefully she can say some funny things. What the? Stace! I didn't want Chloe. Guys, this is Chloe. This obviously isn't Avery, so I'm going to have to go get Avery real quick, all right? Be right back. Babe, I didn't want Chloe. I wanted Avery. Oh. Chloe, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. What's up, guys? It's Brian. I'm sick. Just got back from the hospital. Everything's okay. I guess I caught a cold while I was there. My nose is all stuffed up. Got this bad sinus pressure. I'll give you $20 if you come over and just rub my temples all day. So that's the reason I'm sitting here looking like the Unabomber with this hood on and all dirty. I haven't even showered yet. I'm just, oh. In a way, I guess I kind of do look like some kind of bomber or terrorist. I got this full beard going on here. I haven't shaved in a while. My wife told me I look like Billy Mays. Rest in peace, brother. If I had some OxyClean or whatever other stuff he promotes, I'd probably do that and try to do a little ad. But I just don't feel good and I don't have it. Being sick is like the worst thing. I hate having a head cold. Like ever since I can remember growing up, I was just was miserable having head colds. <sighs> I never really knew how to blow my nose very good till like the fifth grade or like later probably. <sighs> I started feeling real bad yesterday at work and when I came home for lunch I took two Benadryl. Big mistake. Benadryl and me don't work very well together. It always knocks me out. So I was at work, you know, doing some stuff and all of a sudden I just started feeling a little loopy. It's like that feeling where you're there but you feel like you're not there. You're like outside of your body looking in at yourself. Just a reminder, I took Benadryl, not acid. Never taken acid. I never will. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like feeling like I don't have control over myself. Everybody that talks about acid, they say like they see mushrooms and like giant smurfs. I couldn't handle a giant smurf. So anyways, I was feeling pretty bad, and I asked the boss if I could go home, came home, and slept from about 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I rode my scooter to work, so I had to ride it back from work while I was under the influence of Benadryl. I don't even remember riding home. Pretty much rocking out the hooded sweater. I got the sweatpants on today. I'm not going to plan on doing much of anything. There's only like a couple things that can make you feel better when you're sick. One eating cinnamon buns, two, sleeping, three, watching the Discovery Channel, and four, playing Xbox. I don't know what it is about it. When you sit down and you're playing Xbox and you're just like focused on the game, you don't, you don't like have time really to sit and think, oh god, maybe that's just me because I'm a competitive gamer. What, you didn't know that? I got the MLG hat, son. I got the Halo 3 ODST official game guide. Get worked. So like when you're sitting there playing Xbox or something, you just forget about your sickness and all that. Can't really do that today because I got a wife and two kids and they're upstairs and they're like, Daddy, Daddy, come up and play. It scares me because I don't want to get them sick. It's bad enough when one person's sick, but when your two girls are sick and then your wife's sick, so much snot you could fill a five-gallon bucket. If you're a parent and you've got kids that get sick, you know what it's like. Your whole sleeve from your shoulder all the way down to your hand is filled with snot trails. You know, I don't understand. They got all this technology. They're cloning animals, making invisible jackets. You guys heard of that, right? It's a jacket that you put on like a cloak. I guess it's got all these cameras or something, and it shows the images like you're looking right through it. They've got like indoor stadium beaches. How come nobody has developed a cure for the common cold yet? But just imagine how much money you can make if you invented a cure for the common cold. <sighs> I'll be serious, I hope I'm not dying. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, I had this weird premonition that I was going to die soon. It was really weird, like I don't know why, I just 
thought of it or was thinking about it for a day or so. A week or two later, my wife told me she had a dream that I had passed away. The very next night, she had the same dream. A couple days later, I woke up, it was a Saturday morning, I had to go to work. And I started thinking about it again. Man, that was weird. I had a weird feeling. She had two dreams. I got in the car, getting ready to go to work. Turned on the radio there just to rock out a little bit before I got to work. Helped me wake up a bit. I mean, it was 8 o'clock in the morning. In their right mind is up at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. The song on the radio as I'm getting ready to drive to work, after thinking about all this death stuff, was the country song, Live Like You Were Dying. Awkward. So, I haven't died yet obviously. I'm hoping that this sickness isn't the start of some weird strain of deathly flu thing. <coughs> Holy crap, it could be the swine flu. <coughs> I'm just going to keep taking Benadryl, keep drinking fluids, try to get some sleep. Everything's going to be okay. Um, I don't want to get better just yet. If I could stay sick till Tuesday, that'd be pretty cool. Tuesday, I have to go to court for the speeding ticket I got. If the judge sees me, like, all torn up and, like, maybe he'll let me off. I don't know. I'll keep you guys informed. Until then, this is Brian, sick with the sniffles, Simon, and you have just been briefed. Anybody got a tissue?